Hello, welcome all again to a Chem Academy. So, in this lecture, we'll discuss one problem which came for AIPMT CBSC 2015. Okay, the problem is based on chapter some basic concepts of chemistry. Uh, actually, problem is again on mole concept. So, problem is quite simple. Let us read the problem first. Uh, what is the mass of precipitate formed when 50 ml of 16.9% solution of silver nitrate is mixed with 50 ml of 5.8% sodium chloride solution. Okay, and we have given the different uh, options like 28, 3.5, 7 and 14. We have to find what mass of silver chloride AgCl will form. Okay, as a PPT. Now, to solve this, first of all, let us write down a reaction which takes place between these two that is silver nitrate when mixed with sodium chloride so AgNO3 AgNO3 plus NaCl so this will give you AgCl plus NaNO3 sodium nitrate this is a balanced chemical reaction and here silver chloride is formed as a PPT okay now from this stoichiometry we can see clearly that one mole of silver nitrate combines with one mole of NaCl gives you one mole of AgCl PPT now from this percentage of silver nitrate and percentage of sodium chloride we can find number of moles of AgNO3 and NaCl and from number of moles of these we can determine number of moles of AgCl once we get number of moles of AgCl then what we can do we can determine mass of AgCl form from moles mass can be easily determined okay now 16.9 percent means what 16.9 gram AgNO3 is present per 100 ml of solution right when i take solution which is 100 ml it contains 16.9 gram of silver nitrate but they have given you a 50 ml of solution only therefore if 100 ml contains this much amount then half of this that is what half of this okay 8.45 gram silver nitrate will be present in 50 ml of solution and from this mass i can determine moles of agno3 so moles of agno3 will be mass that is 8.45 divided by molar mass which is okay silver nitrate 169.87 okay, roughly 169.87 87 so from this you will get 0 0.049 moles okay so i have got moles of silver nitrate how many moles 0 0.049 so let us replace this one one by 0 0.049 okay similarly we can find sodium chloride also okay so if i do same calculations for sodium chloride then i will get see they have given 5.8 percent so 5.8 percent nacl that indicates what 5.8 gram okay nacl is present in 100 ml of solution but again they have given 50 ml of solution so half of this amount that is 2.9 gram NaCl will be present in 50 ml of solution and this 2.9 gram corresponds to mole mole of NaCl mass by molar mass that is 2.9 divided by 58 it is what molar mass of NaCl so from this again you will get 0.049 moles of NaCl 
So I have taken 0.049 mole of NaCl as well as 0.049 mole of AgNO3. So obviously one mole of this gives you one mole of AgCl. Therefore 0.49 mole gives you 0 0.4 uh, 0.049 moles of AgCl. So what we have got? We have got moles of AgCl which is formed. So from moles we can determine mass of AgCl easily. So we have this formula mole is equal to mass upon molecular mass molecular mass okay so for ag uh, cl we have to determine this therefore mass of ag cl mass of ag cl will be mole into molecular mass okay we have determined mole that is 0.049 and molar mass will be 143.5 okay therefore this comes out to be 7 gram so in this way we have determined mass of agcl ppt form by determining moles okay so our correct option is c okay so that's it for today so to watch such mcqs or if you have some questions you can put your questions in comment box so that we can take the questions in the next lectures. Thank you. Thanks for watching.